John chapter 5, verse 22. For the Father judgeth no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son. I want to give our praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahabashai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, to give me the spirit to do this lesson. In this lesson, we're going into Yahweh Shai, okay? Honor the Son, Yahweh Shai, okay? If you say you believe in his truth and you are a Hebrew Israelite and you do not honor the son and you have no understanding of what that means, then you don't understand what this truth is about. Okay? You have yet to understand. Okay? Now here at GMS, we're going to continue to push Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because it's about Yahweh Shai. He's supposed to come down here and save the elect. Okay? So wouldn't you prop him up? The individual that came down here the first time to sacrifice his life, okay, went back to the Father on the right-hand side and is coming in this time to save you, okay? Wouldn't you prop him up? That lets you know who the body is of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai on the earth, that they break Yahweh Shai down properly to the people and the testimony Okay, and the truth and knowledge of it. Okay, let's go back to John chapter 5, verse 22. I'm going to read this again. For the Father judgeth no man. Okay, so Yahweh judgeth no man. Let's make this clear. But have committed all judgment unto the Son. So all judgment is in Yahweh Shai's hands. Okay, think about that, man. All right? So for all you Hebrew Israelites out there, man, you wanders, okay? You don't have a place of rest in the spirit. You just follow everybody, anybody who say the Israelites. For all you guys out there and you women out there, okay, if you do not honor Yahweh Shai, he is going to judge you. It's going to be his call, okay? Because the Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son. He put it in Yahweh Shai's hands. Okay, now let's go into Psalms, and we'll go back to that chapter in a second. Let's go to Psalms chapter 2, verse 12. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry. Now, why does it say that? I just read it. All judgment was given to Yahweh Shai, the Son. So, shouldn't you kiss the Son, meaning honor him? That's what it means, man, when it says kiss. Honor him, man. Understand. Respect him. Okay? Period, man. Acknowledge his sacrifice, what he did for the nation of Israel. Okay? His position. Respect his position that the Father gave him. Okay? Kiss the son, lest he be angry, because the judgment is in his hands, right? And you perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little. Do you hear that? When his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Who is to him? Yahweh Shai. Okay. Kiss the son. Kiss Yahweh Shai. Lest he be angry, man. Okay. Because the slain of the Lord shall be many. Like he speaks about in Isaiah 66 chapter. I think 13 or verse 15. Somewhere around there. Okay, he come with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger. Okay. Think about that, man. All right, the slain of the Lord shall be many because the judgment is in his hands. Okay, so when he come down here, he going to get busy. Okay, and also, he's already getting busy, man, on the earth. He's doing things on the earth because the judgment is in his hands. He's in control. The Father put him in control. Okay? We know Yahweh is Yahweh, but Yahweh put Yahweh Shai in that position, man. Okay? Let's go back to John chapter 5. Let's start at verse 19 and read down back to that scripture I read before. It says, Then answered Yahweh Shai and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the son likewise. Right, man. Okay. 
Yahweh put Yahweh Shai in the position to be right under him. Okay? And what the Father do, Yahweh Shai does, man. Because the Father, Yahweh created Yahweh Shai to be just like Yahweh. Okay? Period, man. His express image. Okay? Verse 20. For the Father loveth the Son and showeth him all things that himself doeth. And he will show him greater works than these, that you may marvel. For as the Father raised up the dead and quickened them, check this out, even so the Son quickened whom he will, because the Father put that power in Yahweh's hands. He put all judgment in Yahweh's hands. Okay? As the ministers of the kingdom of heaven, we have to teach you, Israelites, man, the truth of that. So you understand, man. Okay, you're not like those guys during the Roman times talking shit with no belief, no faith, always harping on the law, okay, and don't understand the importance and acknowledgement of Yahweh Shai and his position and what he means to the nation of Israel. Okay, that's the truth. Verse 23, that all men should honor the son even as they honor the father. Let's read that again. That all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father. That's the level Yahweh put Yahweh Shai on. Okay? And that's never going to change for eternity. All right? Period, man. It says, He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. Right, man. Okay? Period. You cannot have peace with the Father without honoring the Son first. Without having faith in Yahweh Shah first. Like it says in Romans chapter 5. Okay? We have peace with the Father through faith in Yahweh Shah. Okay? It starts with Yahweh Shah. And you got to respect that order. But you have a lot of Israelites on the earth right now claiming to be in the truth. And they don't respect that order, man. They're Yahweh Shai haters, man. They're jealous of Yahweh Shai. They're envious of Yahweh Shai, of his position, which is insane. Okay? After all he did coming down here, okay, in his mortal flesh and suffering like he did, okay, you got Jakes walking around hating on Yahweh Shai. And they mad at GMS because we push Yahweh Shai. Okay? Making dumbass arguments. Yahweh Shai ain't the most high. Y'all keep talking about Yahweh Shai. We're supposed to do this. Y'all don't understand. But we break it down clearly through the spirit. The spirit is with us to break this down correctly for the whole nation. And any of you Israelites that try to get in the way and, you know, say sideways shit, the Lord is going to judge you, man. Yahweh Shai is going to judge you because the judgment is in his hands. He's going to take you out one way or another. Period, man. Okay? Verse 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believe on him that sent me have everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Okay? So you cannot pass from death unto life without understanding that Yahweh Shah is the life. He is the way. And that's what he said when he came the first time. And they didn't want to get it. The majority of Jake didn't want to get it. They was mad, talking shit, finding reasons to, you know, have a case against him, man. Get him put to death, which they did that. Okay? So we got to understand that, man. Okay? We're going to continue to push you, Shai. Okay? More and more as the day approaches. Because when he cracked the sky with the holy angels, woo. If you're not on his side, man, I'll just leave it there. It's going to be horrible for you. Let's go to 1 John chapter 2, verse 23. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same have not the Father. Let's read that again. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same have not the Father, but he that acknowledged the Son hath the Father also. You have to ignore. Knowledge. Okay? Period, man. And when you go into that acknowledge in the blue letter, okay, in the scripture, in the Greek, it talks about confessing, man. 
You got to accept. You have to confess. Okay? And we're doing that, man. Okay? We are confessing Yahweh Shai into the world, man. His purpose, his position, okay, that you have to respect him or the father ain't going to respect you, okay? Then you just doomed at that point, okay? But let's go to the Google definition on acknowledge. It says, accept or admit the existence or truth of, okay? It says, recognize the fact or importance or quality of. And we break that down here, man. The quality, the understanding, man. The existence, the truth. Okay, we recognize it, man. But you got Jakes that don't want to recognize it, man. Okay. Dummies, man. Okay, you asking for the Lord to kill you. You begging for the Lord to kill you, pretty much. When you think about it. All right, let's go to Hebrews chapter 1, starting at verse 1. Yahweh, who at sundry times and diverse manners spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, having these last days spoken to us by his son, whom he have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory, Yahweh Shai, right, being the brightness of Yahweh's glory and the express image of of his person. Right, man. Come on now, man. The express image, man. Yahweh Shai is just like Yahweh, man. That's why when he was on the scene, they said, show me the Father. He said, if you see me, you have seen him. Because Yahweh Shai, okay, in spirit, is the exact express image of Yahweh. Okay? And looks like Yahweh. Okay? It says... And upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, set down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Right, man. Deservedly so. Came down here in mortal flesh, in this low flesh, and did what he did. Okay, he walked the walk. Okay, he didn't just talk. All right. And he was sacrificed for our sins, man, so that we have hope. Okay, through his blood, man. Okay, for salvation. So we have to honor the son like we honor the father. Okay, so meditate upon these words, what Yahweh Shai means to us as a nation, man. Okay, and we're close. We're very close to our big brother, Yahweh Shai, coming down here. Okay, with the holy army, man. Okay, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So with that, I want to give my praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakha Kodash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Yahweh, my that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.